Lord Shalom. I want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechem Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom to all the Akim who push this truth with sincerity. Alright. Just want to do a, um, a land back off the last video I did. Or a couple videos ago. Um, you know, and um, pretty much, you know, um, and understanding the times are coming in. Okay. It's coming to a time where we're us men of the Lord. Okay. Um, we're going to face persecution. We're going to be faced with death. Um, being beheaded, okay, tormented and tortured, okay, for the words and the testimony of Yahweh Bashem outside. Now, of course, all of us will not go through that, okay, we understand that, but we understand that some will, okay, and, you know, who those men may be, we don't know yet, all right, but it's um, imperative that we all understand what we're getting ourselves into, understand that, you know, in the sense, you know, what we're doing is, is high treason, okay, which you can look that up, pretty much is betrayal um, of, of uh, a country, all right, if you will, um, and the penalty of treason is death, all right, now, of course, you know, um, I guess you could say we're from this country, which we're not, but in a sense we are, all right, we're citizens of this country. And um, Esau is very, very angry at what we're doing. Now, he hasn't acted upon it yet, all right, but in due time, he will. Okay, the devil will show his horns, and he will go back, you know, to those um, tyrannical ways, all right, all right that he uh, is familiar with, okay? You got to think, man, slavery, you know, wasn't that long ago, all right? Him, you know, uh, ruling with rigor. I right, was not that far away, all right, it's not that far away, okay, in the timeline, all right, now, like I said, man, we're about to come to those times where Jake's faith going to be, you know, tested, okay, on a very high level, all right, you know, it's easy to, you know, talk, you know, and, um, you know, speak out against this man, you know, via the internet and all that, but, all right, well, you have that same energy, okay, when this man got you in a torture chamber, okay, or got a gun to your head, or got your head stuck under a guillotine, man, all right? You know, it's easy to, you know what I'm saying, speak now, but, you know, when, when Jake feel that pressure, attitude change, and that's the spirit, because I was watching the Boston Brothers earlier, and um, the elder, one of the elders there had went into that, you know? Jake's temperature changed when, you know, they faced it, you know what I'm saying, those certain situations, which we in the flesh, Okay, it's going to, but you got to pray that the Lord keep the Spirit upon you to stand boldly and stiffly, okay, in the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua, when faced with death, okay, all right, um, so I wanted to go into Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, okay, uh, which this is a, a great chapter, one of the, my favorite chapters to read, it shows a high level of faith. Um, high level of faith, um, endurance, okay, might, courage, bravery, okay, um, it, it's just a good read, man, and it's, it's, it's a spirit, you know, the spirit that the Lord put on these, on these men here, man, is, is what Jake is going to need, man, to, you know, be able to go through with, you know, um, if it's in your life, face death, okay, or torture, man, because they're going to come, all right? Revelation 12 and 12, man, they're going to come. They're going to cast us in the prisons. They're going to hunt us, all right? You know, it's written, okay? The same thing that they did to Yahweh Shah in the 12, all right? The men of the Lord, okay? Men like Daniel, persecution, all types of stuff, man. They're going to do the same thing, the same tactics, man, okay? For us to denounce the name of the Lord, for us to bow down to the MOTB and the, um, the system behind it. Okay, they're going to come back with those tyrannical ways, man, all right, so, um, I'm, I'm going to start here, okay, when you read, well, let's, let's, let's read Maccabees 6, a piece of this, okay, 
because, you know, this is ultimately what they want, okay? And this is an Edomite, of course, okay? They want us to depart from the laws of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? And strip us away from our heritage, man, okay? And they're going to take as many as they can with them. But as the scriptures say, the, the Lord have, matter of fact, let's just grab that real fast, all right? Let's grab that real quick, okay? Okay, because the Lord said he had a remnant, okay, that, you know what I'm saying, pretty much ordained to, you know, not bow down to the devil. This is Romans 7, it's like it, 11, it's like it. This is Romans 11, I'm going to jump to, let's jump to 3. It says, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone. And they seek my life. Yeah, all right? Listen, Esau is coming, man, okay? And you got two-thirds of the nation, too, who's going to sell us out and bow down to this devil as well. When you read in First Maccabees, the scriptures speak about, um, um, matter of fact, I'm going to grab that, too, but let's just grab these. Romans 11, 3, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men, which you know that 7,000 is pretty much completion, okay, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to election of grace, all right? So the Lord has men reserved, okay, and elect, all right, of the nation who is not going to bow down to this, to this, to this Edomite. Esau, man, okay, he has a remnant, man, who's, 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 who's ordained to, you know, not worship the beast in his image, okay, and, and, and not to, you know what I'm saying, fold under pressure, man, when, when, when this shit comes, okay, to be delivered, and if martyred, you know what I'm saying, to be able to face, you know what I'm saying, that martyrdom, okay, to face death, okay, now let's go to 2 Maccabees 7, as well, I could get through this in a timely manner. I'm still on the plantation, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to breeze through this real quick through the spirit, grab some precepts, and call it that. Okay, um, uh, so this is second Maccabees 6 at the top. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of God. So that king was Antiochus, um, Epiphanes, okay, Antiochus the fourth. Exact, if I'm not mistaken, okay. Which Antiochus came out of the Seleucid dynasty, okay. He's a um, uh, he comes from that, um, that's that um, seed line pretty much, all right, or that lineage, all right. Which Antiochus was wicked as all hell, man, okay. You see, like you said, he compelled the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers, all right. Well, he sent the old man of Athens to do it. Okay, but that was his whole thing, man, for the, the nation of Israel to, 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 to denounce the Hawa Bahashim and and his way and to follow after him, which Antiochus was the Edomite. And like I said, this man is going to come come through with the same same thing. That's what he wants Jake to do, to, to, to depart from the ways of the Hawa Bahashim and bound down to him and his system. Okay, with the scripture that there is nothing new under the sun. This is what Esau wants, man. Scriptures on um, Habakkuk um, speaks about um, he heaps unto himself all nations. Okay, this man wants to be set up. Okay, in the position in the seat of God. All right, in the seat of Yahweh, which he can't. He's delusional. The Lord got this man a strong delusion because ultimately this is all of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Okay, verse two is pollute also the temple in Jerusalem is to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympias and that Angarism of Jupiter the defender of strangers as they did desire that had dwelt in the place the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people for the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles which is natural evil who dallied with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places and besides that brought in things that were not lawful 
the altar was all was like the altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbidden. All right, sacrificing pigs, like you said, having sex with harlots. It's all types of nasty shit, man. And that's how we know this is a damn Edomite, so-called white man. This, this, this foul, this wicked is all hell. Scripture speak about the Lord creating the vessel and the honor and the vessel and the dishonor, which is the Edomites. Scriptures call him a base man. Okay, this man is wicked. He is the wicked. All right. Who is well, I could go into that too, man. Malachi, the first chapter. You know, this devil, man. See, that, that, that it's like, fuck. Mm. And, and, you know, they stay at a fine, but the hell with you, Edomites, man. The Lord got something for you. All right, and the ones that you do get, and we're going to come back with, with, with that vengeance of your how about you, man, how much shot, and, and, handle, and handle your ass, boy. I tell you, man. Verse 6, neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient fasts, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Okay, yeah, so this is Esau's motto, man. Okay? He wants you to bow down to him and his gods, his images. Okay? And to, you know what I'm saying? He, he, Like I said, he wants to be your God. All right? That's, that's what he wants, man. And if you take that MOTB, that R-F-I-D, C-H-I-P, that's what you're doing. Okay? You're allowing this man to be considered your God. You are, you know what I'm saying, making an oath with this man. And pretty much saying in lamest terms, this this is my God, okay? Because with that MOTB, this man will pretty much have rule over your whole livelihood, man, okay? Which in turn will have him in a godlike complex, okay? Now, um, let's jump over. Let, well, let's jump down, okay? Because see, that's the thing. You got the Lord has men reserved who are um going to um not bow down to this devil, man. Okay, not bow down to this devil, man. Okay, the Lord's will to title this this lesson on um, fear not this tormentor. Okay, because a lot of people do, and all right, and with that they're gonna they're gonna you know what I'm saying bow down to him. All right, and then um, I might have to make this a part two or two parts. Okay, just for the sake of time. Okay, I said Jake's on the clock, but I'm gonna read down. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read down, and then Lewis Rogers go to Matthew seven in his own. All right, so I'm gonna jump down to. Uh, it's like damn, you damn, we just gotta read the whole fucking chapter, man. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to read through this chapter real quick. All right, Second Matthew six verse seven. And in the day of the king's birth every month, they were brought by bitter constraints to eat of the sacrifice. When the fast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in, pro in procession of, to Bacchus carrying ivy. Moreover, there went out a begin, so that Bacchus spirit, you know, that's pretty much the spirit they get now. Partying, uh, what's it called, reveling, you know, partying, bullshit, all types of, you know, just, just pretty much you think of, um, uh, what's it called? Spring break in Miami. Okay, that's that back end spirit. Rowdy, you know, partying and bullshit. No, no morals. Just all types of degenerate behavior. That's where a lot of Jake learned that shit from, and they they practice this, that shit here today. Here today. Okay, and uh, you know what I'm saying? In the same spirit. Okay, because the scriptures say um there were many Jews who made a covenant with the evil. All right, so there was some dudes who was like, fuck it, we just going to go with it. We got to eat, we got to do this, hey, we just going to bow down to them, you know what I'm saying? And make them our lords, you know, wicked-ass niggas. Verse 8, moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor neighbor cities of, of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should, ser should, should, like, that they should observe the same fashion and partake of their sacrifices. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles should be put to death. Yeah, all right? So with Esau pushing his whole agenda, okay, it, it's the same thing, man. The scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. All right, so let's get that. All right, this is the spirit of Esau. Um, where that at?
is um Sirac, uh, I'm Sirac, Ecclesiastes 1 9. The thing that has been it is it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Alright? There is no new thing under the sun. So like I said, Esau's coming in that same wicked demonic spirit. Alright, that he was in during the Greco um the Grecian um uh, rulership, man. Okay? The Greek rulership, man. Alright. Um, it says, Then might a man have seen the present misery. For there was two women brought who had circumcised the ch children, whom when they had openly led round about the city, the, the babes handing at their breasts, they cast them down headlong from the wall. And others that had run together into caves nearby to keep the Sabbath day secretly, being discovered by Philip, were all burnt together because they had because they made conscience to help themselves for the honor of, of, of the most sacred day. Yeah, so they was, you know what I'm saying, putting them to death, for keeping them all steps to the commands of Yahweh, Bosh, and Yahweh Shah. We're not bowing down to, you know what I'm saying, their wicked ways, okay, and customs. Now I beseech, it's like, now I beseech those that read this book, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they, but that they judge those punishments not to be destruction, but for a chastening of our nation, yeah, alright, because it's also, we do deserve, you know, all the shit that we go through, you know, in a sense, you know, because we went off, alright, so we got to atone, verse 13, for it is a token of his great goodness, when wicked doers are not suffered any long time, but forthwith punishment, for not as with other nations, whom the Lord patiently for bear to punish till they be come to the fullness of their sins, so did of will he with us. Least that being come to the height of sin afterwards, he should take vengeance of us. Right. Verse 16, And therefore he never withdraweth his mercy from us, and though he punish with adversary, uh, adversity like it, yet do if he never forsake his people. Yeah, so the Lord, you know, he's going to judge us and chasten us. All right, but he still is going to be compassionate and have mercy upon us. Okay, verse 17. But let, but let this that we, Salaki, but let this that we had spoken be for a warning unto us, and now will we come to the declaring of the matter in a few words. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man, and of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. But he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth, and it came to his own accord to the torment, as it behooved them to come that are result, result to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life than Salakin, of Salakin, as <laughs> Salakin, <laughs> J. Tron Rush. As are not lawful for love of life to be tasted. Yeah, so, you know, they presented swine to this man. And he wouldn't he wouldn't accept it. All right, this aged man, Eliezer. All right, so, yeah, Lord's will, I'm going to just go in on a part two. All right, Shalom, 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 Shal